Um, that was chapter 25 of <clears throat> Leviticus talks about the Sabbath year. It says this. The Lord spoke to Moses on the Mount Sinai, saying, Speak to the people of Israel, and say to them, When you come into the land that I give you, the land shall keep the Sabbath to the Lord. For six years you shall sow your field, and for six years you shall prune your vineyard, and gather in its fruits. But in the seventh year there shall be a Sabbath of solemn rest for the land, a Sabbath to the Lord. You shall not sow your field, or prune your, your vineyard. You shall not reap that you shall you shall not reap what grows of itself in your harvest, or gather the grapes of your of your undressed vine. It shall be a year of solemn rest for the land for the land. The Sabbath of the land shall provide food for you, for yourself and for your male and female slaves, and for the hired servant and the sojourner who lives with you, and for the and for your cattle, and for the wild animals that that are in your land. All all its yield shall be for food. The year of Jubilee. You shall count seven weeks of years, seven times seven years, so that the time of seven weeks of years shall give you forty-nine years. And you shall sound the loud trumpet on the tenth day of the seventh month. On the day of atonement you shall sound the trumpet throughout all your land. And you shall consecrate the fifteenth year and proclaim liberty throughout the land to all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you when each of you shall return to his property and each of you shall return to his clan. That fifteenth year shall be a jubilee for you, in it you shall neither sow nor reap, while grows of itself, nor gather the grapes from the undressed vines, for the jubilee it shall be holy to you. You may eat the produce of the field. And this year jubilee each of you shall return to his property, and if you make the sale to your neighbor or buy from your neighbor, you shall not you shall not wrong one another. You shall pay your neighbor according to the number of years after the jubilee, and he shall sell to you according to the number of years for crops. If the years are many, you shall increase the price, and if the years are few, you shall reduce the price. For the number of crops, or for the number of the crops that he is selling to you, you shall not wrong one another, but you shall fear your God, for I am the Lord, he your God, is of course Jesus Christ. Therefore, you shall do my statute and my rules, and keep my rules, and perform them, and then, you, and then you will dwell in the land securely. The land will yield its fruit, and you will eat your fill, and dwell in it, and dwell in it securely. And if you say, What shall we eat in the seventh year? If we may not sow or gather in our crop, I will command my blessing on you in the sixth year, so that it will produce a crop sufficient for three years. And when you sow in the eighth year, you shall uh, you, will, you will be eating some of the old crop. You shall eat the old. You shall eat the oil until the ninth year when its crops arrive. Redemption of the property. The land shall not be sold in perpet in a perpet uh, in per uh, just say this right. Uh, it shall not be sold in perpetuity, for the land is mine. You, sh you for you are strangers and sojourners with me, and all the country you, you possess, you shall allow redemption of the land. If your brother becomes poor and sells part of, of his property, his nearest redeemer shall come and redeem what his brother has sold. And if a, if a man has no one to redeem it, and then himself becomes prosperous, and finds sufficient means to redeem it, let him calculate the years since he sold it, and pay back the balance to the man to whom he sold it, and then return to his property. But if he has not sufficient means to recover it, then what well, he sells shall remain in the hand of the buyer until the year of Jubilee. And the jubilee it shall be released, and he shall return to his property. If a man sells a dwelling house in a walled city, he may redeem it within a year of the sale. For a full year he shall have the right of, the, of redemption. If it is not redeemed within a full year, then the house in the walled city shall belong in perpetuity to the buyer uh, throughout his generations. It shall not be released in the jubilee, but the house, but the houses of the villages that have no wall around them shall be classified with the fields and the land. They may be redeemed. And they shall be released in the Jubilee. As for the seeds of the Levites, the Levites may redeem at any time the houses and the seeds they possess. And if one of the Levites exercises his right of redemption in the house that was sold in the city, they possess shall be released in the Jubilee. For the houses and the seeds of the Levites are their possessions among the people of Israel. But the fields of pasture land belonging to their seeds may not be sold, for that is their possession forever. Kindness, kindness for, for poor brothers. If your brother becomes poor and cannot maintain himself with you, you shall support him as though he was a stranger and a sojourner, he, and he shall live with you. 
Take no interest from him or profit, but fear your God that your brother may live beside you. You should not lend him your money or add interest, nor give him nor give him your food for profit. I am Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to give you the land of Canaan, and to be your God. If your brother becomes poor beside you, and sells himself to you, you shall not make him serve as a slave. He shall be with you as a hired servant and a sojourner. He shall serve with you until the year of the Jubilee. Then he shall go out from you, he and his children with him, and go back to his own clan and return to possession of his fathers. For they are my servants, whom I brought out of the land of Egypt. They shall not be sold as slaves. You shall not rule over him ruthlessly, but shall fear your God. As for your male and female slaves, whom you have, whom you, uh, whom you may have, you may buy male and female slaves from among the nations that are around you. You may also buy from among the strangers who so join with you, and their clans are with you, who have been born in your land, and they may be your property. You may bequeath them to your sons after you, after, after you to inherit as a possession forever. You may make slaves of them, but other, but over your brothers, the people of Israel, you shall not rule one over another ruthlessly. <laughs> so God's telling, you know, the Jews not not to be ruthless to your brother, you know, to to your to your fellow Israelites, pretty much. He's telling them, you know, work together, not work against each other. Redeeming a poor man. If a stranger or sojourner with you becomes rich, and your brother beside him becomes poor and he sells himself to the stranger or sojourner with you or to a member <clears throat> of the stranger's clan, then after he is sold he may be redeemed. One of his brothers may redeem him, or his uncle or his cousin may redeem him, or a close relative from his clan may redeem him. Or if he grows rich he may redeem himself. He shall calculate with his buyer from the year when he sold himself to him until the year Jubilee, and the price of the sale shall vary with the number of years. The time he, the time he has a uh, the time he was with his owner shall be rated as the time of, of a hired servant. If there are still many years left, he shall pay uh, perpetually for his redemption some of his sell, some of his sell price. If there remain but a few years until the year of jubilee, he shall calculate and pay for his redemption in, pro in a proportion to his years of service. He shall treat him with servant hired year by year. He shall not rule ruthlessly over him in your sight. If he, and if he is not redeemed by these means, then he and his children with him shall be released <coughs> in a year of jubilee, for it is to me that the people of Israel are servants. They are my servants, whom I brought out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord, your God. And that's uh, chapter 25, talking about that in 26 would be next.